I went and put my dancing shoes on. Yeah, I was a Catherine Jenkins brought her signature charm and impeccable technique. 30 out of 30, another perfect score for Catherine and Mark. That gives you a total of 90 out of 90. William Levy turned on the machismo. But it was Donald Driver who pulled out a clutch performance as befits an NFL great and won the night. I don't want to lose. The new champion of Dancing with the Stars, Donald and Tina. Oh. This is amazing to, uh, to win something truly special and I'm glad that I won for Peter because this is the ultimate milestone for her and now she's, she's the champ of Dance with the Stars. So we wondered what does it take to shake and shimmy your way to within an arm's length of the mirror ball? All three of the dancers came into the finals virtually neck and neck. All three of you are absolute winners. Well, all three of this year's finalists were in excellent physical shape. They could pull off any move. Uh, they didn't hurt themselves doing it. They knew how to do it. They knew how to execute it and they were committed to it. Ian Drew of Us Weekly says there are a few crucial steps to choreographing your way to the winner's circle. First, it helps to have a built-in fan base. Driver to the end zone. Driver came with all his cheesehead Packer fans. Donald Driver had the athlete effect as usual. He had the built-in fan base. They were rooting for him every week. And while he's certainly hunky, William Levy does particularly well with the ladies and the telenovela fans. Mira, a veces las cosas no ocurren. Sing, 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 sing. Catherine Jenkins, no doubt, gets every last Welsh vote. I'm a classical singer. I sing some opera arias, but I don't actually perform in operas. I, I make albums and, and do sort of classical concerts. Of course, you can't waltz away with the prize without some fancy footwork. We were very competitive, you know, and we, and we, we always up for the challenge. And we was up for the challenge once again. We knew it was going to be a battle. It was hard, but uh, she pushed me through it week in and week out, and now we're champs, so I'm happy for her. William Levy, Catherine Jenkins, and Donald Driver all had a lot to prove because no one knew who they were. So they knew they had to be nice, but they were also didn't have a reason to have an ego. They knew that. They knew that the show was going to make them a big star here. So you can't win with a bad attitude. Attitude counts. It can either help you a great deal or it can hurt you. And we saw that a lot this season. Jaleel White, uh, in particular, was voted off after he had a huge tirade. And shortly after that, he got his walking papers. Attitude counts. If you look back, not one single reality show star or starlet has won. A lot of these reality stars, a lot of these people that come in, they're looking at the fame and the press and the paycheck, and they're not necessarily focused on that prize. Of course, every dancing season has featured a triumph over adversity backstory. Driver, for example, grew up desperately poor. I mean, I grew up homeless, you know, I lived in and out of U-Haul trucks. So, you know, when mom's trying to raise five kids, it's very hard. But while the transgendered Chaz Bono and hearing-impaired Marley Matlin and amputee Heather Mills were all fan favorites, only the wounded war hero turned soap star J.R. Martinez J.R. and Karina! sashayed off a winner. But if you just crunch the numbers, with Donald's win, half of the past 14 winners, from skaters to gymnasts to football players and race car drivers, have been elite athletes. These people that come in that are completely in perfect physical shape, they're used to this kind of competition, of course they're better geared towards it. They're dedicated, they know how to focus and keep their eye on the prize, and they know how to pull off all the moves without bursting a blood vessel or hurting their back. Perhaps it's the willingness to put in the long hours of training. Maybe it helped that William Levy played college baseball. You work out six hours a day dancing. How does that compare to when you were a baseball player, for example? I mean, I used to practice a lot. So, you know, in a way, uh, it's kind of the same thing. Dancing, you have to work actually on not getting any stronger. You got to work actually on getting a little bit softer, which is a little bit weird, you know, for a guy. Being buff doesn't help when uh, you're dancing. No. <laughs> so it's like you got to get used to work on your arms. Muscles may not help him out on the dance floor, but when he took okay. me out for a spin, oh my golly. no complaints. Okay. Don't tell my husband I just did that, okay? <laughs> None of these guys' muscles got in the way. In the end, it was the battle of the buff bonds. Donald and Peter! After all, dancing is an athletic pursuit, 
and Donald Driver managed to muscle his way to victory. It took me 13 seasons to win a Super Bowl, but it only took me one season to win a mirror ball. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Yes! I'm Juju Chang for Nightline in New York.